Hey guys, Dan here, your friendly neighborhood tech expert, and today we're checking out a cinema tray for your Mavic. It's called the Katana, and it's from Polar Pro. It's available on Amazon for $49.99. So if you are interested, guys, then make sure to check the link in the description below as it does help out the channel. It is very simple to set up the Katana with your Mavic. Just make sure that you've removed the propellers, make sure that your Mavic is switched over to Wi-Fi mode, and also remove the gimbal cover. Now when all of this is done, all you need to do is mount the Mavic harness onto the actual tray on top. It's a very simple screw mechanism. And then you have your phone mounting option on top, and this will work up to an iPhone 7 Plus with a case. So you have a lot of room to work here, um, but if you're buying this for an iPad or a larger device, then just make sure that you look into this. Anything up to the the size of an iPhone 7 Plus with a case will work perfectly fine. So basically, pretty much all of the phones on the market right now, I believe, will work on this. I would like to thank Aussie Tech for helping out with this video here. He actually did point out to me that this rig here can be used as a dual camera setup. So you have the quarter inch screws that you can just mount to the top there, and then you have a legit dual camera setup. Potentially you could make it a three camera setup if you set it up in the middle, but the cameras would have to be very small and very thin, so probably more so a dual camera setup, which is still extremely handy. The actual cinema tray itself is extremely comfortable to hold on to. You have this ergonomic design that feels great. Premium products have been used. It is still just a plastic, but you have a little bit of rubber for the grips. You also have a nice flattened out section to rest your thumbs on, and it is quite a comfortable fit. It isn't heavy at all, so you don't have to worry about uh, lugging along extra weight when you're going out filming. So this actually worked really well and I was happy with the weight, uh, the overall design, the ergonomics, and just how this thing was designed. I did notice one thing though, when I placed this down on uh, a floor or on a bench for example, it wasn't 100% stable. So the Mavic would either lean forward or back. I would like to see it set up so you can literally just rest it down on the floor, but maybe that's just me being a little bit too picky with the whole situation. Another notable thing to mention about this is the fact that you're not flying your Mavic means that you get increased battery life. So you're gonna get so much more battery life out of this. You're not flying, you're not competing with as much wind, so you will get a lot more battery life. And I noticed I only used about a battery and a half, and that was including a little bit of flying time, but we filmed a lot with the cinema tray, so you're gonna get a lot more out of the Mavic itself, and it just adds a little bit more versatility. You can get some nice shots on the ground, set your Mavic up, take off, and then you've got some nice aerial shots as well. So this is the whole package for your Mavic basically. I would like to see the addition of a quarter inch screw at the bottom of the tray itself, just so potentially we could mount this to a tripod and have the Mavic fixed, then we could control the actual Mavic from the phone itself, or alternatively for our dual camera setup, we have a little bit more stability when we're shooting. So that's just something that I'd like to see in the future, um, but overall the design I was happy with, I was really happy with how it performed, but that was more so on the Mavic Zens obviously. Um, one thing I would like to mention is I had a little bit of delay when I was using the Wi-Fi mode. Now, I was in the middle of the bush, there was no real interference or anything to have to worry about at all, and I still had a little bit of delay, and that makes it quite hard to get the nice cinematic shots. Now, you can trust the Mavic, so as long as you're pointing towards the subject, then you know that everything's fine, but you do get a tiny bit of delay, so that's just something to mention and to keep in mind. Overall though, all of the screws and the mounting points seem to work really well. Uh, it was a real stable fit, extremely simple to set up when I had everything ready to go, and this is something that is quite easy to transition into, doesn't take long to remove the propellers, doesn't take long to set this up, and then you're ready to go. So this is a viable alternative for filmmakers out there. I really love this concept here and I'm happy that I picked one up. So if you are interested in one, if you have a Mavic, if you want to broaden your horizon and have more options available to you, then definitely check out the Katana DJI Mavic tray. Like I said, I will have the link in the description below. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. If you have any recommendations for future videos or anything that you'd like to see, let me know guys, I will reply to the comments. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to have a splendiferous day, and peace out.